hood rat over here hood got rat. hand on hip. Yeah, look at him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I did it, but he had it coming. That's hood is. rat. See, unemployed, no education, and hand on hip, striking pose, head waggling, and got attitude about what? Him cheated. <laughs> What's going on, people? Welcome to the show. It's your boy, Josh Lee. Hey, Jewel. And this is my baby, Jewel. This is my director. What's yeah, that's good son. good son. Oh, I forgot about my other producer, Mr. Uh, Mr. Flowers. Come on, Mr. Flowers. Let's go, man. Everybody want to see. It's Mr. Flowers right here is my, it's my other producer right here. So, uh, anyways, so welcome to the show. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Got some more hot, hot content. Hot y'all. Check this out. Trying to reach the goal of 10,000 subscribers by the end of summer. You've been watching all, if you're watching all these videos and you're loving the content, you haven't subscribed yet, I don't know what you're waiting on. But go ahead and hit that subscribe what button, man. What are you man. waiting on? Come on! It's not going to cost you anything, man. So hit the subscribe button, man. Let's get to the 10K sub, subs by the summertime. Much love. Let's get on with the show. <laughs> Hood rat over here got Hood hand rat. on hip. Yeah, look at him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I did it, but he had it coming. That's Hood Rat. See, unemployed, no education, and hand on hip, striking pose, head waggling, and got attitude about what? Him cheating, lying. He wasn't cheating, he upgraded. He didn't upgrade. You were a temporary he substitute. Upgrade. He's a senior. Getting ready to get his four-year Bachelor of Science degree from a university and okay. get big ducats. Okay. So he's got it. So yeah. somebody else with it says, uh, you can do better. And he's going, oh, yeah, I wish you'd come into life a little earlier. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, the other girl probably is a lot more intelligent and even tempered. I mean, look what we've got going on here. And I'm assuming at least she'd be able to figure out what she did wrong. You don't seem to get the idea. Let's see the car. Mm -hmm. Now, let's keep going. Now. He lucky he didn't get his windows busted too. Why would he be lucky? Because I should have did more damage than that. Oh, you should have. Yes. Oh my, that's awful. Shout out to Judge, Judge Joe Brown, man. That's the old school OG. Y'all already know what time it is with him. So, you done caught the, yeah, he done caught the straight out, told about everything she's doing. What is there for me to say? Fellas, whatever you got to do, just by listening to her talk, that should tell you to stay away from females like that. Please do me that favor. Even though she might look cute, she opened her mouth and she sounds like this, run the other way. Don't even waste your time, bro. Cause you want to end up like this. Then you heard her at the end. Then you heard her at the end talking about, I should have done more damage. Like what? Like, this is how most of these women think. This is how they talk. Let, let's just be honest, man. Majority of women do not see any repercussions for any action, for anything that they do. You really don't. You see it all the time. You see women acting a plum fool, doing everything under the sun, and nobody does anything to them. There's no way a man can do the same thing. He be under the jail. He be going to jail real quick. We all know this. So, fellas, you want to save yourself some trouble, leave these type of women alone. By the way, they just by the way they talk, that tells you they don't need you don't need to be dealing with them. I hope you guys are listening. Either you take the child or he takes the child. He's the father no less than you're the mother. So because then he told me he was going to take Lila with him at 1.30 in the morning. I oh, just a second. Just a second. So he said, if I'm going to leave my house, if you're telling me to leave the house, yeah. I'm going to take my daughter with me. Even though I have sole legal custody of her? No, you don't. Yes, no. I do. No, no, no. At that point, are you telling me you had a court order giving you legal custody of your child? The answer is no. No. So at that point, you know, mother, he's the father. He has as much right to take that child as you do. 
That's not what I've been told, but... Well, if you've gotten different advice, you were mistaken. Okay. In this country, fathers are not second-class citizens. I know there are a lot of people out there, including judges and probation officers, who still don't get that message, but fathers are not second-class citizens. Sometimes they're actually better parents. Before I forget, man, gotta give a shout out to Judge Judy too, man. You know she be holding it down. She for she 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 an OG as well. See, gentlemen. Yeah, that's good, son. Good son. Fathers, those that want to be in your children's life. Studies already show that kids that grow up with their fathers have a tendency to grow up the same way as in the two-parent household. What does that tell you? Regardless of whatever any woman think, regardless of what they say, the study show it. So, if, you, if you're not in your child's life, or if you are in your child, you're trying to be in your child's life, continue to try to get your money up, cause be, because I already know it costs money, it does. So, the, the file your motions and all these other things, all that stuff costs money, so I'm, I'm not gonna play crazy. But the best thing you can do if you're trying to be in your child's life is to get your money up, file these motions, and, and get and get your child, whether it's 50 whether it's 50, 50 custody or, or or either if the mother is out here tripping, then go ahead and get full custody. If you especially if you're situated. If you're a man who's already stable and you're situated, then bro, it's already gonna make it more easier for you to get custody of your children. Get in that get in your children's lives, man. Get yourself together, get in your children's lives. Hey, hold on, bro, I'm on the toilet. Bro. Hey, hey, you get me? Yeah. Uh, you got some bullets? You got some bullets? What? Like, non? For non? My nigga, this not the Los Santos ammunition spot. I got no bullets, nigga. Shit, we need that shit ASAP, because the ops trying to slide on the apartments right now. Oh, God, for real. I told y'all little niggas stay off live, bro. And we only got four bullets. Yeah. Stupid. Four bullets? Mm -hmm. Then why would y'all niggas talk crazy on live, bro? How the fuck? You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Here's a perfect example of what I was just talking about. When it comes to these single mother family families. This is a perfect example of where these boys come from. You little ninjas are going out here on live talking mess to your ops and you ain't got but four bullets. How Man, I'm not even gonna go anymore, going any further in this. Y'all already know what time it is. Y'all watch the video. You see the you see the foolishness in it. There's no there's no need for me to even commentate even any further on this, man. Listen, y'all made it this far into the video, man. Much love, man. <laughs> These boys are crazy. I know it. I know you're so hungry, so eat it. Pick up the Bible and read it.